Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I wanted to make a cool little video about a mod that can make your iPhone 6 or iPhone 6s look just like the new iPhone 7. So give your old dated device a new look, fresh look. So this could be in particularly useful for devices that are bent out of shape, just damaged, you know, looking pretty bad as far as wear goes. You can make it look brand new and it'll have the new design. So I'm gonna show you guys, I do have this new shell available and I do have it in both the plus and non plus sizes, but I'm gonna show you the regular one first that I have ordered maybe like a month ago and it finally got here. So what we got here is a replacement housing in the style of the iPhone 7. So I wanna see how close it is to that first uh, before I go ahead and install it and basically just give you a little mini review of this, uh, how I installed it, you know, is it worth it? making your device look brand new. Now, obviously it's not gonna fool anyone uh, that's really trained to know their devices, but let's see how this looks. Oh wow, that's actually really, really clean. So it has the same text as the iPhone 7, so you don't get uh, the old FCC labels anymore, which is, in my opinion, the best part about this. Let me turn the brightness down just a little bit. And, uh, Wow, I'm actually impressed. So obviously the camera placement here is gonna be a little bit different. It's a little bit higher up, not so much in the left. And obviously we're working with what we have on the iPhone 6, but it does have the raised edge just like that. So it emulates that instead of having the border ring, you don't know, have a raised curve to it. It looks incredibly similar. Like from a distance, if I were to look at it, and uh, the antenna bands being the number one indicator of an iPhone 7 for me, I'd be able to think, you know, that looks like an iPhone 7, except, hey, it has a headphone jack. So that is really, really cool. I'm impressed. So obviously this isn't OEM, but it has a really good OEM iPhone 7 look. And I'm gonna go ahead and swap over everything from my iPhone 6 into here. And I'm gonna show you guys how to turn your old 6 or 6S into a brand spanking new iPhone 7. So. That is really, really cool. Inside of the kit, you get some tools, and I'm gonna try and perform this repair using the tools they give me. I have more professional ones, but just for the sake of it, I'm gonna try and do it with this. I've got an iPhone 6 here, really nothing wrong with it, but this is gonna be the donor for this video. It is jailbroken and all that, so here we go. And I wanted to show you the iPhone 7 Plus one as well, so look at that. Also with the antenna bands removed, and this one looks a little bit worse, but they tried to emulate the dual camera and obviously it's not the same, but yeah, there's that. So it's a lot smaller than the original one, but the placement is better definitely on this one. So um, you can emulate the 7 Plus look as well for 6S Plus or 6 Plus, but we're focusing just on the iPhone 7 one in this video. So. Here we go. I've done this a couple times. I'm not very, very uh, savvy when it comes to repairing stuff, but I get around. I got good tools for it, so I'm gonna try and use these, but I'm hoping I'll be able to handle this. I don't have too much history in this, but you know, for the sake of it, I'm not gonna show you every little detail. It's just a pretty straightforward swap, so time-lapse for you showing the entire process. The most important thing is if you guys are gonna do this, um, have the battery stickers underneath the phone ready to go. So when you're gonna take the battery off, there are two stickers underneath and you need a replacement right away to keep the battery centered in there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I would recommend you guys get one of these, no brand in particular, but they sell them on eBay just so you have a really neat way to put all these stuff from the internals on here while you're swapping them. It comes in handy, it's like five, six bucks or something like that, but it's totally worth it. Okay, so here it goes guys, enjoy. All right, so got our tools over here, make sure the phone is off. And first one you wanna use is the little hex tool to remove the screws on the bottom. This is like the easiest part, man. I would say this swap is definitely not easy, but it's very manageable. As long as you have the iFixit guide and a little placeholder for all the screws, it's really much easier. So I'm gonna put these on here. That's basically the idea just to catch them. And it's magnetic too, which is kind of cool. All right, so plunger, and you're gonna use a little blue tool around the edges while it's going up. 
you want to pry the edges. Whoops, I accidentally turned it on during. Uh, time to turn it back off. You do not want the phone on during this process. So I can remove this guy, pry this up. And you guys want to go ahead and unscrew everything from in here. And we're gonna pop out the display first. It's very important to note the position of these screws on here as they are all different lengths by the smallest amount and you wouldn't even know it. So be very careful to note where these screws came from. I hate these screwdrivers, man, they suck. I just want to show you guys it's possible to do with the basic set they give you. But man, does a good tool set make this job so much easier. Go ahead and gently pop out all of the display tabs and it is separated so you can set that aside yeah all right sorry so i just can't do it the screwdrivers that they give you are acceptable but i'm making life so much more difficult more than it needs to be right now so i'm going to go ahead and use mine um just because it's so much easier than applying so much force on those and if that battery part fails you go again with the famous credit card failure method. All right, so I just installed the buttons. This no doubt was the hardest part of this entire installation. So what you guys need to do is take off the little metal bracket on the button, the little metal piece in the middle, apply them to the existing rose gold one or the new one, as they don't come with those pre-installed for some reason. And once you do get those in there, you feel that satisfying click, then uh, you guys know you did it well. So. Uh, Moving on, that's the hardest part. Now begins the reinstallation of everything. All right, so we're peeling the logic board connector to the lightning adapter now. This is not gonna be an easy one. Could use a little nudge out. There we go. All right, so begin reapplying all of this to this guy right here. So in goes the headphone jack. Make sure the microphone is inserted properly and all of this good stuff too. All right, so plugging in the battery, putting in the SIM card. So we're almost done here. All right, so what's left is to go ahead and put the display on and power this bad boy up. Man, that took a while. So I am pretty inexperienced in this, but I did manage to go through it just fine. Got everything installed. And before popping the screen back in, at the moment of truth, uh, make sure everything is plugged in correctly. Um, it'll tell you everything if it turns on or not. So here we go, three, two, one. And fingers crossed, not getting anything. Okay, so it looks like the power uh, wasn't plugged in properly back here. So uh, once I went ahead and reinserted that, it sprung to life. All right, so sliding the display in up top and popping it in here is the finished product and i must say guys i am very very impressed i did not think that something coming from china like a housing like this would impress me this much but it gives your old iphone a brand brand new look very fresh so aside from the camera that's the only thing that's a little bit off this thing looks like the real deal it's the iphone 7 with the headphone jack that's the best part so build quality is fantastic the color is on par with the actual rose gold here's how it looks right next to the official one so it's a little bit lighter when you put them right next to each other but uh, looking at them in person when the light isn't bouncing off of them it looks very very even the antenna bands are very well matched uh, the cameras they did the best they could with what they had uh, the fonts everything looks fantastic it's very very even yeah it's even still thinner just like the original iphone 6 so that was pretty difficult i must say like on a scale of 1 to 10 that was probably a 7 for me it wasn't easy but I think it was certainly, certainly worth it. So how much does this cost? I believe it was like 30 to $40 for this new housing. And uh, I'll leave a link to where I got it from down below, but I'm I'm blown away, honestly. I like it so much. Compared to the old one, here is a just regular iPhone 6. This is definitely looking more fresh. I like that it doesn't have any more of the FCC labels and the antenna bands, man, they look so much cleaner. So to complete the effect, guys, to turn this into a iPhone 7 or iPhone 6S, 
uh, jailbreak your phone if you're on a compatible firmware and install Peekaboo so you guys can get 3D touch on your device using that uh, screen sensitivity. So in a way it still does use pressure on your display and uh, that is so, so cool. So you can even get Peeking Pop inside of Safari everywhere you would on a regular device. So that I think is a must with this if you guys are jailbroken. This literally will turn your device into an iPhone 7 if it doesn't have a 3D touch already. But guys, I just wanna say thanks so much for watching. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very, very impressed with this. If you guys were wondering whether I should do it, you have my seal of approval. It's not easy, that's the only thing I gotta say. So for the faint of heart that don't like taking your phone apart, uh, this is not gonna be very pretty. I mean, look at this battlefield on my desk. There's so much going on, but the final result looks fantastic, I gotta say. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned, I've got a very, very cool video coming for you uh, in just a couple days here. Peace.